We begin with that marathon council session on the heels of another brutal round of violence. We have team coverage tonight. Tara Molina takes a look at peace efforts by community organizers, but we begin with CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff. Dana. Erica, more than two dozen aldermen grilled police superintendent David Brown for almost six hours today. Others voiced support, and there was an interesting moment when the superintendent indicated that holiday crime might spike because he was forced to attend this special city council meeting. The cycle of violence. Before questions even began, Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown expressed concern about missing a morning CPD meeting. Because we missed our 10 a.m. 10 a.m. meeting, we have not chimed in on where we need to send resources. And then what would happen if he and his two top brass missed an afternoon one? If we missed that meeting, in my opinion, impacts public safety. As it turns out, the superintendent missed that meeting too as he continued to take questions from aldermen at this special city council meeting. Do you believe that there is an issue on equitable distribution of officers in our city. Officer allocation, just one concern. Officer well-being, another. 19th Ward Alderman Matt O'Shea reading part of a letter he received from a police officer. Police officers feel that no one cares about them. Their mental health is suffering. I commit to you and to the officers on our department uh, that we'll do all we can to ensure access to quality mental health services. This meeting was called after 25 aldermen signed this letter earlier this week, concerned about violent crime, policing plans, and what some say is Brown's inaccessibility. The buck needs to stop here. But others voice support for Brown and his department. How about stop demonizing police? Alderman George Cardenas blaming some aldermen for not doing enough themselves. You pick up the phone and you call the commander or you call the sergeant or you call the commander and wa the watch commander. Brown answered hour after hour of questions calmly. So the biggest need I have from you and your peers and your colleagues is to acknowledge the hard work of Chicago police officers. Mayor Lori Lightfoot also refutes claims that Brown has been inaccessible, and she also called today's meeting poorly timed, questioning the motives of some aldermen as to why it had to be today on the eve of this 4th of July holiday weekend. Erica? Well, Dana, with nearly six hours of talking, did anything new or concrete come out of this meeting as far as solutions? Well, there was one thing for sure. Uh, Superintendent Brown pledging to meet or at least have phone calls with two aldermen, at least two aldermen directly every week moving forward, which would help address some of those inaccessibility concerns. And one thing I do want to note, noticeably absent today was 34th Ward Alderwoman Carrie Austin. She was indicted on federal bribery charges just yesterday. Erica. All right, Dana, thank you.